were good, kid, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung's mid-range devices are getting the iconic Infinity display and today we've got some legit renders of the handsets. These renders are posted by Mobile Fun and they're taking pre-orders for these cases which pretty much confirms this is gonna be the final design of the product. So what you see here is the case render of the Galaxy A5. It's still unsure what Samsung's gonna call these devices because a few days ago there were reports that they're planning to call the A5 and A7 as the Galaxy A8 and A8 Plus respectively. So for the time being, I'm gonna call this the Galaxy A5. Alright, so like 2017 Samsung flagships, the new Galaxy A5 will have its fingerprint sensor on the rear. However, unlike the S8, S8 Plus and the Note 8, this time around it won't be in an off-center position horizontally. Instead, it's placed right underneath the single rear camera. That should make it easier to reach and harder to miss. Though it's still pretty close to the lens and not very big, which means some occasional smudging of the camera is bound to occur. It it appears to have the Bixby key on the left side underneath the volume buttons which means the virtual assistant is ready to make its debut in the mid-range too. So as far as the specs, it should support the Exynos 7885 or the Snapdragon 660 which depends on the market. Expect 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM to be baked in too. But unfortunately, the phone could be launching with Android 7.1.1 Nougat on board and not Oreo which is kinda disappointing. Previous Galaxy A devices got launched in January, so it's believed that the 2018 version are gonna launch in the same time frame too. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like the design of the handset? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.